and I love it. I love it when I go there. I feel like I was born there. You know, I feel so part of it. Now, I had the good fortune, the last trip I took, to meet the Pope. Wow. It was quite, a, not a, like a surprise, because it wasn't planned. And I'm up on a, a pedestal on the altar, like in Naples. And this was his formal, formal yearly speech that he had to give to the people, which I didn't realize. I thought he was just happening to be through uh, the Naples area. But he had a, a planned mass and everything. But first, uh, we're sitting there, and I had my, my daughter, Maria, uh, who's married to Kenneth Cole, who is Jewish. I think a lot of you know that. And, um, and their daughter, uh, Kara, who is in Harvard University at the time, about to graduate, and um, she was there as a surprise, happy uh, birthday party celebration for her, and a gift to bring her to Italy to show her background, which Maria wanted to do, my daughter. And I, I really appreciated that. I happened to be there also for my Mentoring USA Italian program, which is national and international. Mentoring USA started here in New York City, but now it is not only all across our country, but it's in all many, many, many countries. And it's, as I say, national and international. So that's what I was there for. But we sort of met together, Maria, uh, Kenneth, and uh, Kara, and here we were waiting for the Pope to speak. And it was all like a, a miracle, because we didn't expect it. It was just all a surprise. And we all both came together, because I didn't expect Maria and Kenneth either. They just called and said, we're in the area, traveling, we're coming. I said, come. And, and it was wonderful. So there we are sitting. And all of a sudden, I got a tap on the shoulder. One, two, three, like it's from un prete, a priest. And I said, oh, he said, veni, veni, subito, come quickly. So I, he takes me to the back, and I get Maria, me, and Kara, me, me, three. I look at Kenneth, he said, go, go. <laughs> He's Jewish, you know, so he... <laughs> 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 I thought he was Jewish. So what happens is we go in the back, they usher us into the back altar, behind the altar. And first, there were a group of young apostolates who were going to be priests, young boys. And they were in a row, I'll never forget. Then came me, Maria, Cara, and uh, uh, that was it. And then the, pre the Pope was going to pass by, get dressed, because now he just had his little white hat, you know, the little cat scalp, and, and his white uh, outfit. But now he had to put on the face. I mean, get all dressed up. And he had to pass through to go get dressed up. So he had a little bit of time. So we were very lucky to be there, to be put there. <laughs> so he comes through, I see him, and he says, un bacio. He was kissing all these young boys, you know, and shaking their hair, and it was so beautiful. And then he comes to me, and I said, I had my book. How many people have the book, The Person Who Changed My Life? The book that I gave out a few years a few years ago. Okay, I know. But right, next time I come, I promise I'll get more books. <laughs> get them published. But la persona que me ha cambiado la vida is the person in your life who changed your life. The mentor, un mentor. Now I have it under my arm because I was going to give it to him. He's talking. I'm talking to him, and I was so so you know very nervous. Okay? And I said to him. In, uh, in English, I'm speaking, but they told me he spoke in English. He understood, but not too good, by the way. So what happens, I start to speak in Italian. I think even if it's Sicilian, at least you'll understand the Ciciliano, no? So I spoke a little bit of each, like, you know, because I don't speak that, I never uh, learned the, the, the Italian language, but I just, because I speak the uh, Sicilian, I figured I'd manage. So I'm talking to him, and I'm going on and on, 
and he's looking at me, and he's smiling, and, and then he says, he takes my book from my arm. I didn't even give it to him. He takes it from my arm, and he starts to look at the book. I said, questo è il fatto, io sto parlando di questo. The Mentoring USA Italia, e che le ragazze per rimanere in la scuola, non devono lasciare la scuola, e dice, sì, 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 questo è giusto, questo è giusto. Well, he was happy that I was going to stay for his sermon. And I have to tell all of you that when he speaks, you must listen. He is so wonderful. He speaks from his mind, his heart, and uh, I can tell you it's something you never forget. He said to the whole audience that were like 5,000 people, all you could see were people in that square in Naples. The cathedral is magnificent. They're right. It's about the best in the world, that cathedral in Naples. And, and a mass of people, he said, La familia. Debe essere la familia. And they all understood. In life, it's the family. It's the family. That's all that counts. No matter who you are, where you are, where you think you're going, that's what counts, your family. You are family. You will always be my family. And that's what I'm saying. I came here today to tell you that nothing is more important than telling your children and your grandchildren, always remember you're not alone. We're family. You have somebody you could call, somebody you can talk to. You don't need the psychiatrist. Don't go off the deep end in any way. Don't think you're alone. Because in the Italian way, we understand la familia. Thank you. I don't know how many people you know. My family, I have a piccolo quattro, but they are 13 girls and one boy. 14 grandchildren. <laughs> Mario. Mario. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> He's the only boy. Aww. And uh, I have also the, uh, Una Catalina, I didn't even bring any. Uh, you have a few. She has a few, Janet. Janet Medina is wonderful. Anche Italiana. Non guardi Italiana, di Italia. And, and she speaks, uh, she worked in Italy with uh, Governor Mario Cuomo with Economic Development Corporation for many years. She knows many very famous Italians. <laughs> and now she, uh, she has introduced me to plenty of them. They're helping my program. Now it's mentoring for the New York State Mentoring Program that my son, the governor, put into place, the New York State Mentoring Program at Kichibole. The many of the kids are failing in school, many, many failing schools, which means trouble for all our grandchildren, our children, because we have to keep them in school. Kids have to stay in school, and we have to do our best to keep them in school. Chivole is a mentor. Somebody who can give that child one-to-one -one some kind of feeling that you belong. You belong. Maybe your family doesn't work out for you, you don't have a family. How many children are in foster care? Are you aware we are burgeoning with foster care kids in all of our agencies, state agencies across the, our state? Thousands are, have no parents. They give them up as children, and they are just in the foster care system. And they need so much help, so much guidance. And it's really disgraceful. It is, it really is sad, very sad. So we're trying to help them with the mentoring program. And the children in an intact family, who also, everybody's busy, they have no time for them, and they're not doing well in school. So the teachers are very, very happy, and I'm a teacher by profession, and I know how much it means to help that child. So they have the also a mentor, one-to-one. -one. It has to be one-to-one, -one. it's the only way it's going to work. And I learned that when Mario was governor, and he told me to do it at that time, to do the New York State Mentoring Program. And then to give you the quick history, I might as well while I'm talking about it, is that Governor Pataki cut the whole thing out when Mario was 1994. No, no chipoleva, you shouldn't have done that. And you didn't get good advice, I tell you the truth. So what happens now, 
is that Andrew came to me. He was working for President Clinton at the time with the Housing Urban Development Corporation, HUD, for the homeless, housing for the homeless. And he was the expert, Andrew, for Clinton. So um, I think a lot of people don't know that. But then what happened is he, he said to me, Mom, you know, I have bad news and good news. Remember the program you had, the New York State Mentoring Program? It's cut out, gone. Don't even think about it. You can't bring it back. He said, but you could get the, the whole model, that one-to-one, -one, which is unique, and nobody's ever done that with mentoring. So keep that up and call it another name. Call it Mentoring USA and go national and international, and daddy can't stop you. Mary <laughs> could not say anything. So I said, but how? I have no way to do this. He said to me, I said, you're dreaming. You know? He said, no, 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 I'm going to give you a room. There's a room I can give you in the homeless, uh, uh, right near NYU. There's a building that he was taking care of for the government. And he said, you can get a room. It was subterranean. With three volunteers, all I saw were legs coming by the window <laughs> for three, four years. But now, little by little, it grew and it grew. We are now national, international, like he said, and I'm in like uh, 12 cities across the country. We have uh, okay. Andalusia, Morocco, parts of Africa. Uh, England has uh, Mentor USA, Italia, all of Italy, started with Italy. And now I'm in going to Holland. I was just saying, I'm taking a whole group. We're getting together to go to Holland. They invited me to come. You see, it's all over the world. It's not just our country. Children are lost. A lot of children who don't have an intact family and don't have a way to get encouragement to become somebody they can become. What a sad thing. So it gets back to what the Pope said. La familia. It's the family. If your family is not there to help you and doesn't give you the spirit and the way to go in life, you're lost. You're lost. You really have no roots. So that's why I say here tonight, I, I really respect all of you because you're, for me, a real um, living uh, example and model of what I mean about the family. And I adore you for it. I really honor you. Thank you. Okay. The first lady of New York, and she's still coming for us, and I do. Let's get a good hand up here. All right, listen, guys, I want to take a picture of the paint right now before it's done up. Yes, we're doing this again next year. I will be good today.